Well, we certainly get our fair share of three and four hundred thousand dollar houses, and we certainly get our fair share of even hundred and fifty thousand dollar houses. But people call and they say, "How about something affordable?" Well, I got something affordable for you today. You know, here's the deal. It's in a community. This is a lot of family. When you're here, you know, your family. Do you get along with all your family? No. Are you going to get along with everybody here? No. But you're going to have some really good, solid people who have been here a very long time. You know, some of these people have been here 20, 30, 40 years. And uh, they like living here. You're really close to a lot of stuff. You're about, uh, you're about a mile, uh, not even a mile. You're 800 feet to a Dollar General. Uh, there's literally on the other side of that home right there, there's a bank and a Hardee's and a convenience store. And then you're just, you're in this little town it's called Junction City. Your mailing address will be Danville, which means you'll have cheaper, uh, cheaper water, you know, better fire protection, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is KU Electric. It's some of the uh, lowest power in the state. Let's see, trying to think what else. Two miles to a Walmart Supercenter, Lowe's, Starbucks, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, all the stuff. Got a brand new home coming in there. I'm going to show that to you as soon as that comes in, which is supposed to be in two days. Here's the house we're talking about, 124 Hickory. Cindy can tell you all about it. Jen can tell you all about it. I'm going to go inside. We've fixed it all up. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's on a nice lot. And this guy's been here for, oh my God, 30 years or more. And he's got a puppy. So whatever. There you go. <laughs> got new stairs that are easy to come up. I'm, I'm telling you what's affordable. And you want to know what that means. Well, how about brand new door, brand new floor. You're talking about probably two, three thousand dollars uh, two, three thousand dollars down approximately to buy this home. And then... What are your payments? Well, I gotta look it up and I'll put it here. It's a great house. Now, Cindy, she's all into this uh, designer color stuff. So she's got the, uh, gr what's called like, I don't know, enthusiastic gray or something. I don't know, they come up with all these crazy names. This is all Shaw luxury vinyl plank and it's that waterproof stuff. It's not like Pergo. Pergo is basically sawdust with some formica over it. This is vinyl. So you could actually put it underwater. You could actually put it in a basement and you can actually do lots of things with it. They got this backsplash, which is beautiful. A decent gas range. You know, if you're a real cook, you're gonna like the gas. You turn it on, turn it off, it's off. It's got the accent wall. I'll put the, the names. The names on some of these paints are actually kind of comical. So uh, I'll put that down. Payments with the house and everything. The house, a lot rent and everything is gonna be in the 400s, 500s a month. I was just on the phone with somebody. They said, hey, you know, I get $1,500 a month or $1,600 a month with social security and I, I would like to rent a house. I said, why do you wanna rent when you can buy? You keep your payment about a third of what you make. In other words, if you, bring in $1,500 a month and you keep your payment at $500 a month, that's sustainable. In other words, you can afford that. And you've got money left over to eat and electric and water and, you know, some of those luxuries, right? <laughs> if you're going to be too tight, uh, you're, you're not going to be able to afford this kind of stuff. Well, if you're only at, I don't know, what is the minimum social security now? I don't even know. Uh, this comes with a washer and a dryer and it's got heat and air. I don't even know what the uh, the minimum Social Security is, but if, if you're bringing in $1,500 a month, you can afford $500 a month for a house. Everything's clean. It's nice. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath. I don't know. Do you like it? I like it. It's got nice new raised panel doors. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. Is my house perfect? No, my house is not perfect. There's always that little thing here or whatever that drives you crazy. You're gonna make this your home. You're close to everything, close to jobs. You're close to medical. What if you need good doctors? You got good doctors here. You got a regional medical center. Anyway, is it sustainable? It's sustainable. Is it affordable? It's affordable.
You're looking at maybe 500 bucks a month for everything. That includes lot rent and everything. Now, if you come in here and you pay cash for the home, this home I think is like 17,000. You pay cash, it's all set up. Okay, so here's the deal. If you bring a home in, you bring in a new home or used home, by the time you, you get to haul on it, you set it up, you put a porch on it, you put a little deck on it, you hook up the electric, the water, the sewer, you're looking at 8,000, 8,500 just for the hard costs. That's not including the home. This thing's here already for you. So when you look at 17,000, you figure, well, eight or 9,000 is already done for me. So you're really only at, you know, but long and, long and short of it is you're at 17 grand. It's got new advanced tech down. It's got the new LVP. You got a house that's gonna last a long time. 17 grand, come pay cash, then the lot rent's just 225, 235 a month, whatever it is. And then plus utilities, you only pay for what you use. Anyway, I love it. I love living in this town, I love living in this county. You're in Danville, Kentucky, in a nice community at Oakview Commons, close to all the shopping. Imagine living for 225, $235 a month. That's what I got for you today. Hope you like this affordable house. It's neat, it's clean, it smells like new paint. Love it. We get lots and lots of calls. Oh, Jesus Christ. I get a lot of properties, you know. Hey, James. Uh, I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.